was having a conversation on social media tonight uh, with a viewer named Tori who reminded me of something important that we talked about on the air the day of the Aurora Theater shooting. That when something so overwhelmingly terrible happens to our community here in Colorado, that it's okay to, to step back from the coverage of it, the, the reading and the watching, to take a break, to take care of ourselves so that we're able to come back at some point and take care of our neighbors. Uh, and just something that I'll be thinking about, something that you might want to think about here in the coming hours, in the coming days, because what has happened today has truly been overwhelming. When we think about the number of homes lost and lives impacted, uh, the fact that in a lot of ways, in a fast growing state up against these wildland areas and with a ch changing climate, a lot of this felt like a disaster that was inevitable. At the moment. We hoped we'd make it through 2021. Hoped against the evidence, against our intuition, that Colorado could escape another catastrophic wildfire year. A crazy sight to be seen, that's for sure. But we knew. It's been dangerously dry, unseasonably warm. We knew there'd been no sign of real snow. So any spark could be a fire, and any fire could be a disaster. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a shame, for sure. The Marshall Fire went from a whisper to a wall of fire and smoke, unstoppable, too much in too many places, even for all of the heroism that firefighters could muster. This is the day fire came to the suburbs. It turned a blue sky day into orange and by night lit up Boulder County and the battle went on. Colorado's most destructive wildfire burned at least 500 homes, each home someone's home, like this home. And with so much of this terrible day turned horrible night, there was nothing to do but watch and yeah, hope. No longer hoping Coloradans would be spared, hoping we can be there for all of those who weren't. And that work begins tomorrow. The ways that we can help our neighbors in targeted, meaningful and lasting ways, both with our actions and also with donations to trusted organizations from this community with long-term ties that we know will be there for the future. Kim and Alex, I know so many people are desperate to find ways to help tonight. I've already been in contact with some local organizations that we've worked with in the past, folks that we have vetted and that we trust and that we know have been good stewards of dollars in the past and will be here in the long term for our neighbors because we know that there will be needs immediate and long term and there will be needs by the folks who lost uh, homes as well as folks who were impacted in other ways. That work begins tomorrow.